Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction. Today, we're going to be hopping right into episode four, season two of The Boys. Now, we kind of left off on episode three, and that kind of left us a little bit, uh, left a little bit of a bizarre taste in our mouths. Like, we had Stormfront basically uh, going around and just primarily targeting black people with her superpowers and like actually killing them so that's 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 weird that's very weird i i i mean from what you guys were saying like a little bit here and there like from what i read up on was that she's i mean she's obviously uh racially triggered that's for sure but that's kind of that's kind of terrifying having a superpower or superhero who has like has like signs of racism that's actually terrifying um and we're kind of getting a little bit of what that would look like and how that would operate within this universe of the boys so it's really uh it's really interesting that they tackled it in this way I'm, i wasn't expecting this kind of take on uh you know this this series especially with a superhero like stormfront um but yeah there's a lot of mysteries going on i mean we have obviously the conflict within the boys and Huey and you know Butcher's relationship and all of that, but yeah, I mean, like just just so much is going on in this show, which is great. Uh, it's always chaotic. It's always a really good time, but yeah, a lot of things are happening. I'm really excited to see how Homelander kind of you know confronts Stormfront. Um, that should be like an interesting dynamic. So yeah i mean i'm excited for it like i said like i was a little bit taken aback by it but like not in a bad way at all it was just that it just came out of nowhere almost like i was just like whoa i did not expect this series to kind of shift towards that i mean especially um you know with the whole big reveal of compound compound v being you know known to the public you know i thought that was going to be more of like a final uh, episode sort of thing but it happened in like what episode two so episode two or three so like this is going to be really interesting i'm excited to jump into it but again like always guys i just want to thank you for the support and a special thank you to the patreon people out there if you guys want to be you know involved in early access content if you guys can't wait to uh, just like get to the next episode definitely check that patreon link below there i'm always like a couple episodes ahead of the youtube schedule so if that's something that you're interested in definitely check it out but without further ado let's hop right into episode four the boys steve laughed and said that was nuts and that we were never having kids <laughs> which was um news to me yeah long story short um the caterer was told <laughs> what the heck was that about <laughs> who caught a glimpse of the killer described him as dead-eyed and unemotional as he rampaged through the apartment building killing it wasn't your fault wow like i said man the media in this show is just insane insanely accurate which is why it's scary how they twist the stories around like my goodness earlier today stormfront made an appearance at a new york city park how many more people have to die you guys, I have been shouting up and down the hall. He's like a ticking time bomb. Like, what the heck? What is holding him back from just exploding, you know? I'm counting on you to show us the way. Don't let me down. Oh my gosh. I love how they do like these superhero landings, especially with Homelander. I just always think it's so cool with how much force he flies up into the air and how much he kind of like lands back on the yeah. ground. That is awesome CGI work on that department's. What? Are you thirsty? What is happening? Is this like a dream? Is it that one uh, person that can morph into different bodies? Like, what is this? Liberty. You mentioned that before. Second tier suit, active in the seventies. Yeah, I, that's what I was saying. Like, is that Stormfront? Like, is that Stormfront's right. hidden identity, or is that just someone else? Because I'm still trying to figure out who the heck is Stormfront. Because what 
the heck? That was so bizarre. I have one less person in my audience staring at me. Wow. Man, that was good. I, I love the the authenticity that these two are kind of like showing each other finally. Like they're not trying to get one over one another. It sucks that I had to get to this event, See? but hey. Hey, taxi driver. Directed over and over and over. That's what happens. I mean, how much shit is he supposed to take? Everybody respects you. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Very relatable for now. Back. Change back. I'm sorry. I can only hold a shape for so long before it really hurts. Change the fuck back now. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I, I mean, I kind of knew that was the case, but I did not know Homelander was like it's okay. forcing him to do that. Oh, that is so weird. That is so weird. Kids are weaver. Don't want them to get snow all over me jacket. Mm. It's really interesting how his acting, you know, it may sound it may seem outlandish, but there's like slight hints where you see his real reaction before he flips on his obviously dark humor. Like that's what I really love about Butcher is that you know, it's not just his personality, but he uses it as like a coping mechanism because of just how effed up his life really is. I mean, drive anybody insane, you know? Go ahead and scream. Oh, my goodness. I'm not a murderer and I won't straight up execute someone. Then go ahead. So tell me. That's what I'm talking about. That's very true. She told the truth right there. You're not lying. <sighs> oh my god. It looks she's about to get her whole insides ripped open. My goodness, Homelander is crazy. Oh. Black Noir. Hi. <laughs> Yo, Black Noir, dude. What? I'm happy we're seeing him a lot more. But, like, it's just... Like, what the heck is he? Here you go. I'll keep you posted when we find them. Right. Ugh. There's something, like, super unsettling about Black Noir. Like, I don't know. It's just... It's just it's just weird i don't know guys <laughs> like there's parts of him that is extremely funny but then there's like i can't tell if he's serious or not. i don't even know what he is like he could be like a freaking like like a alien for all we know if we're gonna go knock on some soup store don't you think it makes a little bit of sense for us to have one of our own like she's in our shape that's true that's very true. And that would be a pretty cool uh, pretty cool group. Mother's Milk, Huey, and Starlight. <laughs> Shockwave is just here to talk about Vod for Tots. I swear to God. What the fuck is Vod for Tots? It's new fitness outreach for toddlers. Apparently, they're getting obese. Vod for Tots. <laughs> oh, no. Why is that kind of good, though? I doubt you're even cracking the top 20 anymore, and that makes a seven. Me look pretty ridiculous. I do want you to know, though, this was really hard for me. I wonder, though, if this could potentially, potentially make A-Train on the side of the boys or Huey. Because he's just as much as getting used as any other superhero on Vought. Vought Plus, though, that's hilarious. For all the people you hurt. For those children... That lamplighter burned. Okay. Mm. Yeah. There's that story. What happened with the whole lamplighter incident? Because he was part of the seven, but he's not anymore for some odd reason. But it was like involved with Mother's Milk and him. It's just, um, my mom never let me have this stuff. 
and just weight gain in our house. <laughs> Look at how Mother's Milk is eating. <laughs> like, he's so elegant. Oh, man, I'm telling you, he's like my favorite character. All over your skin, here. Got to use well wipes. There you go. You just carry these around with you? Damn right. Whoa! What the heck? No, 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 Please hurt. They need help. No, no, no. This is not the time to be a soup, okay? We're low key. I'm telling you, the CGI work in this in this like TV show is just unbelievable. That was intense. Finally. Finally, this is what I've been looking for. This is what I've been hoping for. I finally get a chance for them to freaking talk. Climb with the come on. How? Why you can't climb that fence? Right. Mm, he wasn't thinking about Ryan. He wasn't thinking about him. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, cause that's the tricky part. What do you? How is he gonna feel about basically Homelander's son? Like what? No, oh, but he was obsessed. Shape of you, Galway girl, whole catalog. So he asked me to get one of these with him. Oh no! Two weeks later, he broke up with me. Wow. I fucking hate Ed Sheeran. Wow. That. Why would you? Why would you ever do something like this? I'm gonna make it up to you. Wow. It's really dope seeing Butcher like this. Like, this is really, really cool. It showcases how much she really means to him. I mean, for Christ's sake, I mean, he went after Homelander <laughs> for years. Maria Menounos? <laughs> but check your facts. Let's uh, take the seven, for example. Like a black noir. He, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is black noir? Mm-hmm. Scoop for you, Maria. Maeve here is a strong, proud lesbian with a beautiful girlfriend, Elena. Oh, boy. This is... Oh, this is... This is not good. Two to be happy and in love. Honestly, Maeve, I am really, really happy for you. Oh, God, man. What did he do? Did he do something? What... <laughs> Like, you just never know with him, man. Like, it's just weird. More will come. And for all we know, these maniacs could already have flown over our borders and be standing next to you. Just wait. Oh, man, these shots are really cool. Kind of like the lower shot. It reminds me of Taxi Driver, actually. Homelander's gonna save us. This when he's not exactly reminds me of the Taxi Driver scene when she's walking through the crowd. So hopefully, someone comes in to save her. Oh, yeah, so she's hella strong. Whoa. I was not, ex I, I mean, I knew she had a cape and all, but I didn't know she was able to zip off like Homelander or some Superman type stuff. Like, what? Robbery tonight. No, it wasn't. I, I had it. I don't know nothing about any robbery. Just confess. <laughs> Yo, it was her. I think that is Stormfront. Black piece of shit like you. Oh my goodness, man. Are you kidding me? Oh God, dude. Nobody's seen her since 1979. I mean, she's probably dead by now. <laughs> oh no, no. Wow, guys, I'm a little speechless by that. Like, wow. That's her. That's, that's just crazy. I mean, my goodness. And yep, it is Stormfront. Oh, snap. Yo, this dude looks so dope. Oh, my God. Your audience. You know, change with the times. God knows I did. No, you did not. No, you did not. You are 
in more ways almost as effed up as Homelander. Honestly, you may be more effed up than Homelander. It won't be in an obvious way, and it won't be right away, but you will. No, Becca, no. Billy, I know you. I know you better than anybody, and I saw it in your face last night. That's what I said previously. But you can't blame him, you know? Like, he's he'll constantly get reminded that that's Homelander's child. Like, I, I can't really blame his feelings right now. He raped me, and when I found out I was pregnant, I went to Vaught. I didn't come to you. Jesus, man. Why would you say something like that? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> yep, that's... That's... <laughs> that's him. But Black Noir is nothing to mess with. So I don't know how the heck... Which is going to get out of this situation because Black Noir is crazy. The one with the hair and the creepy skeletons hugging each other's story? Yes, that's your wife. Whoa. Oh, wow. They're looking for his wife. I'm sorry. And you're choosing Cassandra. Congratulations. Yep. <laughs> what the heck is his whole entire storyline? Like, what? I was beginning to worry. It's interesting how he doesn't want anybody to lie to him, but he's like completely lying to himself. By myself. Oh my goodness. Like what you see? See how hot you are? I don't think that's what he meant. Yo, this is so crazy. What the heck? I don't need anyone. I don't need. Oh, man. Well. Oh, boy. Talk about a twisted sense of symbolism my goodness and that wraps it up for episode four season two of the boys uh right uh, i'm not gonna lie i think it's my favorite episode so far this is my favorite episode so far because i think the pacing in this was just really well done they did a great job balancing everyone's story very well in this and the flood of information it wasn't overwhelming but it was still a lot, but it was it was done so in a way where I was able to breathe and digest the information and slowly piece together things for when the next episode comes. And I think that's kind of what I was missing a little bit with the first couple of episodes. Um, you know, unlike season one of the boys where, you know, the information given was almost at the pace of this, like the pacing for each episode was similar to this. You know, the first three, I was kind of like, oh, wow, this is just a lot of craziness happening. There's a lot of craziness happening, and it, there, it just seems like they were stockpiling their plate, which isn't a bad thing, especially for a show like this, but it was just a little much, um, in my personal opinion. But I love how this episode worked. I love how, you know, in this episode, we dove into the psychology of some of these characters in a way that was very organic. And even the bizarre aspects of it, it made sense because it all related to these characters' themes. And I love that about The Boys Season 1. And I'm, I'm so happy that this episode really took the time to do that. So, like, yeah, I, like def definitely one of my favorite episodes. But, yeah, Stormfront gots to go. She gots to go. I mean... Again, like, I mean, I, I compare her with Homelander, but the reason why I would say I'm a little more wary, wary of Stormfront is because she is racially triggered, whereas Homelander, I'm not giving him any justification, but there's a reasoning towards it, you know, like there's a reasoning behind his madness. Um, whereas Stormfront is just an extreme again like not justifying his 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 antics you know but Stormfront attacks just based off of color 
and that's just that's just that's demonic <laughs> that's demonic and the way that they showed that scene is crazy like it was it's crazy but it's it's the fear that you know kind of lingers on I, I i would like to speak for a lot of black people or african americans in this community it's a fear that is very real you know um outside of obviously the tv show or superheroes or super villains whatever it's a fear that definitely lingers on and i don't think they did that they did this just to cash in on the craziness i think this is this was organically done i think this was organically done um because yeah from what i can remember i don't think i've i don't think i've ever witnessed a racially triggered superhero or super villain which would be terrifying you know like that's it's a whole different ball game so i'm i'm happy that they chose this route because i think it's going to be able to touch on very similar things that are happening now but it's also something that is very new that i don't think a lot of people tackled just yet so that it's going to be interesting watching this unfold um especially in a story such as this but yeah i mean this episode was fantastic i want to thank you guys again the boys uh co community is just awesome you guys have been just showing so much love to these episodes i just want to thank you for that and a special thank you to the patreon people out there who are getting these early access again if you want to be part of that community we are awesome over there definitely check out that link below hit me up once you do maybe we can say what's up real quick but yeah again like always i just want to say thank you for the love stay healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started Purple jacket, pocket full of weed Everything that I should ever need Grab some matches cause they give them free Just like my time Hair pulled back in the backseat